the moment you've all been waiting for, the Cartoonish Rivers explanatory explanation video. Here's, here's this. Okay, so let's talk about Cartoonish Rivers. This is a continuation of this kind of mini-series, or I guess mega-series it's kind of turning into. And uh, I will be taking you through these images here that I have. And it's about 100 images, so this might be a long video. And then I do want to go into detail on each one of these um, sites, probably about uh, 20 or 30 uh, locations we're going to uh, check out in Google Earth and look at all the place marks I have in the area. Uh, I feel like I need to um, do, do a lot of detail and go into depth on this topic, Cartoonish Rivers, because um, I've mentioned uh, in kind of in passing or uh, just kind of like a broad overview, like this looks cartoonish subjectively like to my eye, but I haven't really given too many solid examples, I think, uh, not yet anyways, of cartoonish uh, features specifically and uh, specific examples of weird, uh, strange river uh, features. So, all right, so let's let's go through all these. Cartoonish River. This is the thumbnail. I I, I just like to show it because I put a lot of effort into it, and uh, yeah. So there's my nifty thumbnail, and it's really small when you see it in the margins. So I feel like I need to get some uh, eyes on it. Anyways, uh, so the Sundarbans uh, in Bangladesh and maybe India, kind of. Uh, so, obviously subjectively cartoonish looking, that could have to do with the fact that it's mangrove forests or uh, any number of uh, reasons, natural conditions why, why this might look cartoonish, the weather patterns, geological patterns, etc. That could, that certainly plays a role. Uh, I just wanted to mention here with this image that this is what I expect a more natural looking river to look like, this fractal kind of pattern, uh, whereas this is more of like a, a goofy, I don't know, it's certainly not fractal, or it, does, it doesn't have the same look as this type of thing. I did notice in this particular river in Iraq um, that uh, the water level rises and falls quite a bit over the years or seasons I guess so that could have something to do with why it looks all fractal like this. <clears throat> uh, Sundarbans, there is some seasonal flooding certainly. Uh, I think it's pretty substantial uh, so that could explain some of the weirdness although in the satellite photos we don't see a lot of change in water level, just some minor stuff. Uh, we don't see a lot of meanders. We don't see the changing course of river in this general area in the historical photos. And uh, if I haven't mentioned it already, in this video I will only be going through still images and in subsequent videos I'll be checking out these areas in Google Earth. Okay, so this is the Sundarbans still and this curve I'm saying is a cartoonish feature. First of all, the rivers itself, and then stuff like this may be like a deliberate um, uh, weird feature, kind of uh, as a, uh, a freebie or a uh, it's dropped in as like a low hanging fruit for us to pluck observationally, uh, just because it looks quite awkward. I would say it's almost a perfect semicircle and uh, many of the bends in the Sundarbans area have this bulbous or uh, curved look to them. So like this, 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 and this side as well. It looks cleaner uh, earlier on in time, like 1990s or so, if I remember correctly. Uh, a couple explanations. These could be like 
um, natural whirlpools, like from the flooding uh, or just the changes and even changes in water direction. Maybe it creates a whirlpool, like tidal changes or seasonal flooding, monsoon stuff. Maybe that creates little mini uh, vortexes and whirlpools that make it like a circular pattern. It could be that. Or another thing I was thinking was uh, just some type of coastal fishing or aquaculture or some type of, uh, or just trying to, like even mining, just trying to get whatever collects at these river bends. That could be the case. Uh, I don't, I don't necessarily know that it fits all the examples, that explanation, but it, it seems to be plausible for some of them that I will show in Google Earth in a later video. And another explanation could be uh, coastal management of some kind, like relieving some type of water pressure or I don't know, any number of things, but uh, just a kind of awkward look to it. Uh, yeah, so these curves, let's keep going. And then, yeah, so here's what we see, this kind of bulbous look to these uh, river bends or knees. I'm not sure, quite sure what the technical term is, but so like here and here, I could imagine these actually being natural. Uh, this one as well, even with the slight little thing there, but these ones up here, like this one, especially when you cross reference this with that, it's like, it's almost a, uh, uh, giveaway or a, um, uh, just you, you can kind of cross reason or um, just logically deduce what these are from what uh, these other ones are. Perhaps it's just we need to take a, a decent number of samples into account to get a good idea of what's going on. So we have these which maybe natural or maybe not. And then those more artificial looking bends. Um, and then this bit of coast, which looks like it has these little almost artificial, very similar to those curves. And in some spots, I was seeing some changes to the curves, like uh, cleaner looking in some years and more uh, rough around the edges in other years. So I'm wondering if it is some type of ongoing modern thing, whether conspiratorial or just conventional modern stuff, if you know what I mean. Um, so it could just be some modern landscaping or fishing project or something that keeps going over the years, or it could be the artificial weirdness protocol. Uh, there are some spots that don't seem to change much over the past 20 to 30 years. So that needs to be considered as well. And um, I think that's it for Sooner Brand's images. Okay, uh, this image, this is from the movie The Life of Pi. And I just wanted to include this because there's the idea of the mangrove uh, island, the carnivorous mangrove island, uh, I guess with these lizards and meerkats and stuff. But, uh, uh, so the Sundermans area is mostly mangroves. This is like a heavily mangroved area. And then, so I just suspect that something is up with man mangroves in general. I think they may be used, like just planted over weird stuff as a way to cover up whatever pattern was there before, potentially. So like maybe during some large scale reset, someone just plopped down a bunch of mangroves, uh, more or less, uh, to simplify a bit. And then they, um, they just uh, etched some rivers through them with whatever algorithm, or maybe they hired an artist, or <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But uh, it seems like an algorithm is at play here on multiple levels. But so I bring this up because uh, the, these islands, apparently this was a, a project in the 1950s 
to uh, some mangrove restoration project, or uh, I don't know whether they were planted or uh, or or uh, edited. I mean, uh, like if I'm remembering correctly, they were planted. They were first planted in the 1950s, apparently. But I just I still think there's something weird with the mangroves, especially with all these goofy patterns. This is in the Philippines, so a ways away from uh, Bangladesh, and I can't quite put a finger on what is weird with the mangroves, but it might have something to do with this, uh, just uh, either this generation, continuous generation of arbitrary goofy patterns, which would, uh, so that wouldn't matter if this was created in the 50s, because then it could still be part of this protocol. Uh, if, I mean, if this protocol is going on and if it's ongoing, um, or these mangroves are kind of plopped down on top of whatever they want to cover up, like old civilizations or old rounds or previous rounds of the game, whatever game is being played on Earth as possible. Uh, just a couple different looks at the mangrove weirdness. But yeah, I just wanted to make the comment that something weird may be up with the mangroves, and then maybe there was like a truth drop kind of... Uh, story element in The Life of Pi, the book and the movie, the the idea of the carnivorous mangrove island, that the idea that the mangrove island hides a dirty secret. So it's possible that these mangroved areas here and the Sundermans as well, they hide some kind of secret. So, um, so in the same way that uh, this algorithm might uh, leave a deliberate Clue behind, like a little semicircle or a goofy pattern, as a way of letting you know that something's not right. Uh, I think they also have to make the truth known on an intellectual level. So they may have, uh, they may insert uh, truth elements in like books and movies and whatever else to. Uh, to out themselves because they have to or whatever like uh so they it might have been included in the, the life of pi the mangrove island as uh the same type of um alert or uh calling um not calling card uh like for the same purpose uh, that we might see a nonsensical feature like for the purpose of letting you know the truth uh, just in a different way. Uh, I got a little muddy with my explanation there, but hopefully that's good enough for now. All right, going through some different areas here. So I've showed you this one a couple times. Uh, just subjectively, first, the the proportions of the river are a little goofy. Um, mostly the parallel lines here are cartoonish, and then also we have like a lot of areas which are uh, fairly natural looking for a while and then they just kind of uh, turn straight for a while and then they well this one follows a groove so maybe there is an intersection of these two but um, in general that's something we see a, a, a straight natural river that goes uh, or a natural river that goes straight for a while and then turns natural again and it could be flowing this one's obviously linking up with these grooves but uh, in other cases, like, the river could just be flowing downhill for a while, and that could explain the straightness or whatever. But uh, there's a lot of little things in these areas, like maybe even this straightish edge here. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll show you in uh, other images and in Google Earth, like, this same area, uh, this particular thing. So let's check that out. It's like a hiccup, um, like a deliberate hiccup in the pattern or algorithm used, used to um, make over or terraform this area. So it's like that was included. And then also note the uh, this curve thing here at the, the knee or the, uh, the direction change. And this is similar to 
bear with me for a second. I'm gonna go find that image real quick. The, in the Sundar bands, the these bulbous things, like right here, yeah, here. So it's kind of like this. So, um, so in, in New Jersey, we may be seeing that bulbous thing, this, that curved bulbous weirdness. And we see it quite a bit on a lot of the river bends and uh, I, I'm not quite sure what the explanation is, maybe natural, but it's kind of abrupt looking. And then certainly all the parallel lines are cartoonish, not to mention these guys, which some of these are recent. So that's either the recent uh, leg of this ongoing terraforming project, or it's modern efforts to uh, do some conventional activity, like looking for oil and natural gas or whatever, or fishing even or whatever. But this general area of New Jersey is fairly cartoonish and we will see in Google Earth later uh, that uh, a lot of examples of that. Okay, so, oh, I didn't have to go find that. I already had that image lined up. So this bulbous corner and this very awkward corner there in New Jersey and halfway around the world in the Sundar Bands. So this is another one in New Jersey and these angular tributaries or little um, outlets or river, the minor rivers off the, uh, off the main river. So these are, see this one I would consider to be like halfway between natural and artificial just because it's like straightish, but you see the, the natural meandering as well. Could just be an, uh, a, uh, like they kind of made an artificial channel recently, and then, uh, and then some meandering has occurred since. But a lot of these, it's just like a strange. I don't think this fits the bill of drainage, and I don't think it fits the bill of like irrigation necessarily or farming even. And here we even see like this line like almost on the same line as this but it's like natural along a line and then uh, there's nothing in between and okay so I don't know if I've explained this yet but the idea of a record skip so uh, so if I were to start talking and then stall on like a syllable like I just did it's, it's as if this river is like doing the natural river pattern and then it stalls like on the current trajectory for a while and then it picks up with the algorithm or the natural algorithm again. So I wonder if those stalls or record skips, if you want to think of it that way, it's not a perfect analogy, but um, if those are part of this protocol, this artificial terraforming weirdness because we observe it quite a lot. I'll show you at least dozens of examples of this type of thing where we see um, a natural looking river which just goes, goes uh, oddly straight for a while. This isn't perfectly straight. There's better examples but and then it resumes with the naturalness and yeah these this could be exploratory but I don't think these are navigational channels. They're certainly artificial. It's just, uh, are they of a down to earth explanation or something else? I'm arguing it's probably something else. So these guys, and once again, this is all up and down the East coast of the U S very similar stuff. So here's another good example of the record skip or the, uh, the sustain, uh, the lock on uh, on the current trajectory, like it's going for a while, and then it just starts stalling, and then it picks back up with the natural pattern. So something like that. I don't know that this would make sense necessarily as a uh, 
well, maybe someone joined these two rivers for navigation or something. This one, uh, I don't, it doesn't, uh, I'm fairly certain it doesn't join up here. So this is probably not for navigation or transportation here. Um, we do see natural, 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 straight, natural, or natural-ish, which I'm arguing is probably artificial too, but it's just mimicry of natural patterns. And then they just, they have to, they have to do a, a poor job for a while, like to cover their asses so that we can discover what's going on. Something like that, maybe. Um, some parallel lines there. Uh, this, like the, the straight kind of path across, even these are straight-ish, I would say. They're along a straight path. They just meander along that path. Like this one, similar deal. Somewhat meandery, but then an angular change of direction. And uh, again, this the idea of a, a wonky, derpy pattern generator, which uh, maps to multiple domains, including the Earth's surface. And then uh, it can interpolate or average between natural and artificial patterns, or like organic and jagged angular patterns. So, so this is like a mixture of those types of patterns, like a very particular kind of mixture, which achieves whatever they're trying to achieve. So this one in Brazil, you've seen this one, I showed it to you just briefly, the, the angles here, which are slightly irksome, very abrupt uh, truncation here. And this, this one's out in the middle of nowhere, like the middle of the Amazon. So this one is less likely, I would say, to be natural. I mean, uh, modern conventional stuff. And then even right here, like this potential angle here, and this, and even even like this angle here, if you're in full screen and you can see this, uh, like the, the angularness, even this is a little bit steppy. And even here, like maybe an angle and uh, yeah, so that's, this is out in the Amazon in Brazil. Here's one more look at it. Good look at that angular thing right there, possibly. And then one thing I noticed, um, that's what I should probably tell you in the next image. Um, I was thinking of something else, but I think I have it later in this presentation. So, but I, I noticed like a straight line here in another very similar example. And uh, I wonder if this faint indication of a tick mark is that same type of deal. But uh, yeah, some cartoonish, uh, potentially mimicked river loops. So we do see river looping, or uh, the formation of river loops and meanders happen in real time, or at least uh, over the course of decades, years and decades, um, we do see examples of that. But I'm saying in the first place, a lot of the rivers might have been uh, mimicked uh, to look like they uh, they had meandered. Like this, this may be a mimicked river loop that's not legitimate is the main point I'm making. Okay, so let's continue on. Panama. Here, just a subjective, I don't really have any strong examples in this image to show, uh, just another subjective uh, spidey sense type feeling. Uh, I guess just briefly, this looking somewhat awkwardly straight. Um, and then these little divots, it's kind of subtle again, but these, these uh, curves at the knees, once again, maybe natural, maybe some type of modern conventional activity, um, but it also may be the like kind of like a scoop, scoopy uh, pattern. That's just one pattern of this rich uh, alphabet of, or one tool in the toolbox of this weird uh, pattern generator. So Lake Junin, we'll take a look at. Uh, the idea here, I'm, I have trouble making up my mind whether I think this channel is artificial and modern or, uh, 
or part of this weirdness. So it's got the, the more natural meandering patterns and then again the, the straight for a while phenomenon, like natural and organic and then straight for a while and then natural and organic. Same thing here, natural and organic, straight for a while and we don't see the rest of it but uh, and then uh, I don't <coughs> excuse me I don't even know if this is a river technically I think it is it's like the at the south end of the lake and then it, more towards the north end we have this uh, this more well-defined channel which I'm arguing may not be of conventional ori origin and then all this stuff as well so I would say this is a little cartoonish the way it bends and stuff if we are made, made to believe it's natural um, I don't know that it's supposed to look natural but it uh, it has an angular bend over here or I don't know if this is a good image but there is an angular bend at some point uh, so that's kind of similar to this idea of the straight, uh, unnaturally straight channel, which uh, obviously in some cases that's going to be modern stuff for navigation, but uh, in transportation, but this one doesn't go all the way through, although there's a continuation of it over here, apparently, or seemingly, like it almost, it almost looks like it continues here, so uh, why didn't they go all the way through if it was natural? It would make sense to just do this. I'm, I'm sorry, if it was uh, modern and uh, conventional. So if it's modern conventional activity, then it makes sense to finish the job and do this for trans better transportation. But it, since it only goes halfway here, I'm wondering like if this is a, uh, a cartoonish fake uh, indication or hallmark of fakeness. This one, I don't know how much distance it saves you, but I guess it could make sense. Uh, it's just looking potentially uh, awkwardly straight or unnaturally straight. So we'll go to this, maybe we'll go to this area and check it out uh, in Google Earth in the videos following this one. Vietnam, uh, this could be a navigation channel or for transportation. Here's a closer look and it just looks slightly uh, too regular, just a little bit too regular. Back to this image and just looking a little cartoonish and strange, not to mention the general look and feel of the area, but uh, looking for more solid examples than just a sub subjective uh, feeling. So I'm trying to present some of those. This one, could certainly be modern, but it seems a little wide for just such a short distance. You know what I mean? Like, uh, go back up here. It just seems like a pretty monumental effort for for not that long of a a um, uh, bridge to fill. So, I mean, I guess. It would save you some time for certain routes, but I think it, and it may even be natural, I guess. It just looks slightly artificial to my eye. And even the way some of these th very thin rivers or uh, tributaries or sub rivers, whatever you want to call them, just the way they kind of abruptly link up with the main river, it's in like a angular fashion. It's uh, somewhat unorganic looking. It's almost like a... Uh, like a circuit board kind of look to it just in this general area it's like a wire rather than a, a organic river uh, there may be various down-to-earth explanations for that um, I'm just pointing it out so also in Vietnam that same area is these parallel grooves so we have multiple parallel grooves like this this one looking like it may extend across. Certainly, if you look here, right here, you can see some indications of parallel lines, which may be from some weird terraforming deal. And uh, these 
certainly these two parallel tick marks here, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, these straight parallel grooves, not always parallel, but here we've seen one right here maybe, and just a whole lot of them, and modern activity maybe. I just think the whole river system is a, a phony in some sense, and more of the same river system. Here's these marked up, uh, large scale marking up of the area. Here we see modern activity. Just, so this may be, I think I looked in the historical photos and it hasn't changed much in the last 20 to 30 years. So I think it's looked this way for at least a, a good while. Um, so this may be, remnants of terraforming weirdness and potentially even the awkward angular turns of this river so russia stuff like this i my first inclination is just modern industrial or uh or some kind of uh coastal management or something like this uh this path here if you follow my mouse right there 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 this deal i tend to think that's uh, modern conventional stuff, but then there's other weird stuff in the area like this, but which also has uh, stranger um, uh, little um, patterns and weird things going on. So uh, I think we also need to consider that this might be like the same by the same hand as the person who. Uh, did, I don't know, this river or by uh, the other weird stuff. So this river may be like dredged for maintenance purposes just continually and maybe that type of situation. And you see all the, um, the outlines of it and stuff. Uh, parallel lines here. Um, but I, I don't think we're gonna get much uh, conclusions or strong conclusions out of this image, but it's worth comparing to nearby areas. This could even be exploratory oil and natural gas stuff. Um, and that again would be my first guess, except for uh, the next image, I think. Yeah, this one. This is nearby, like uh, just the next little uh, river delta over in Russia. And this whole area, again, is looking cheesy to me. Cartoonist. So here we have, like if you're making an artificial uh, channel, why would you take this path instead of taking a straight path? You know, it makes more sense. So I'm guessing this is natural then, but then we see how it just kind of turns into a straight or blends into a straight pattern. And here we see like angular turns there and just a overall like a, a haphazard layout of of rivers uh, and like what is this channel uh, modern activity and then like this this thing right here uh, looking very strange just kind of dead ends right here and then um, this I was still on the fence about until I saw some other weird stuff uh, in this general area this possible phony river loop looking just a little too perfect. I could be wrong on that, but uh, with this um, faint linear tick mark there, looking like some type of artificial weirdness. And then, uh, yeah, kind of looking like this guy. Uh, so this this river loop, compare it to, to this one in the Amazon. Russia, Amazon. Uh, I, I see some similarities stylistically, so. I think we may be dealing with some type of artificial goofball project. Even like this line right here, maybe this line, just uh, miscellaneous straight lines. And um, okay, so here's a good image. Same area in Russia. Uh, so what we're seeing is like angular patchiness, like here especially very uh, angular patchy look to the whole area so I'm guessing this was some kind of texturing I don't know for realism or for just finishing touches or 
whatever. And then even like little chunklets, like we see parallel um, things that are just a little bit too perfect maybe. And um, so I'll show you this area in Google Earth and it's pretty weird looking and patchy and chunked up. So the idea is that that's an indicator that the weird rivers we see in the area are also um, artificial and of a strange origin. So it's like check mark on the patchy angular stuff. So that's lends credibility to a check mark on the, the river system itself uh, in terms of its um, artificial, weird, otherworldly origin. Uh, okay. And I'm trying to think if there's any other particular points I want to make. I guess I'll go into more depth on this one in Google Earth, but this is a really cool area for making the point I want to make here. So uh, let's continue on. Yeah, it's, this one is like less definitive down the way in Russia, but uh, I think the um, the stronger example of this this spot. Sorry, struggling with my mouse. This stronger example, when compared to the nearby area of this, maybe makes you, well makes me at least wonder if this is not of a strange explanation or origin as well. So just taking that into account. All right, so another place in Russia, pretty far away, I think, from that last one uh, here. I've showed this once or twice or three times, but just these angular little patches here, like even a little circle in a straight line there. And uh, if, if you just pause on this image, you can probably find at least like 20 um, uh, suspicious, weird little details and pointed out a few of them on this image. Uh, so uh, this corner here is a little odd. This straight, abrupt, angular thing going on here. And once again, I'll mention that rivers can certainly overtake themselves in abrupt ways when meandering of a natural, um, in a natural process. However, I think uh, some of these details are uh, do not fit that bill. We see a fairly straight edge here. Uh, even this, maybe, maybe. But uh, yeah, here's a closer look at uh, what is it? This right here. So just a closer zoom on this one. There we go somewhat angular looking, just the way right here, just a little awkward, and then this kind of abrupt line here, maybe. Uh, nearby in Russia, we have these parallel lines and bumps or dots. So these may be levees or any number of modern projects. Uh, I just want to consider also that it may be a cartoonish weirdness that, uh, is used to make over the Earth's surface. Argentina, I've shown this a couple times, just these uh, inlets or uh, river mouths, which look fairly natural and then just kind of get straight, blend into a straighter pattern. And it could have been a modern channel building project, which utilized the existing natural rivers. And then it's kind of, uh, morphed into a kind of coherent look to it over the years and decades, but uh, I, I and these are pretty long channels too, so it might be drainage. Uh, I just wonder, given some of the um, circumstantial evidence. Like here looking natural, but then by this point it looks artificial. So it could have been natural like along here, and then they used uh, built an artificial channel for like 
just up to here or something, up to here, uh, to join up with it for some reason. And then we also have like this going across, which we should consider. Could be a former coastline. And then what else? This image, we have these. Could be any number of things, certainly artificial. Uh, just, again, the angular turns and odd uh, bends and stuff. Cartoonish, perhaps. Maine, uh, again, the whole east coast of the US, basically, but this river and the surrounding area is uh, all marked up with parallel lines and grooves and uh, like this line across here. Uh, these, there's like a border around the area and lots of parallel lines. And if I hadn't been studying this stuff a while, I would just assume it's modern landscaping or something like that. But that's the thing, we just see whatever and then we rationalize it away. Like we, we, we might be rationalizing away some pretty crazy stuff, maybe. Um, so, and then, so I use this, uh, all these lines and parallel lines and uh, awkward uh, grooves here. I use that as kind of circumstantial ev evidence to postulate that the river itself might also be uh, of a strange um, artificial origin. And just down the way a bit in Maine, we have uh, these kind of angular edges here looking pretty awkward. Uh, portions of the river which look awkwardly straight, certainly some parallel tick marks there, indications of parallel lines or straight long straight lines. Uh, this certainly here, it's natural and then it just turns straight for a while, like a glitch almost. Um, many kind of angular river bends here. So it's as if this whole river system was done, was created with a goofy algorithm to repeat myself for the 500th time. Uh, but I do feel I need to show a whole bunch of examples of the cartoonish river thing um, in order to properly present the case or to convince some people who are on the fence about this. Because, I mean, you should be on the fence about it. It's pretty radical theory. So, uh, so this, this does not make sense as drainage, I would say, this long straight thing here. It just kind of dead ends at this pool, or maybe there's continuing faintly, which we can't see, but in kind of an angular turn. So same type of deal there. Um, yeah, just these straight uh, inlets or outlets or paths, and then this triangular hole, which uh, I'm arguing is just more um, one more strange uh, pattern or symbol that's just thrown into the mix to uh, uh, spice it up or uh, maybe even muddy the water or make things more confusing or make th things seem more, uh, I don't know, this or that, whatever, adjective. But here's like a kind of a natural path along a straightish line, and here's more straight one. And then here certainly this is looking artificial. And then maybe even kind of like a triangular wedge there. That's not super definitive, it's kind of low resolution. So um, even channels like this, it may be natural, but I don't know. What else in the area? So this one, I'm pretty excited to show you this one in Google Earth because there's like a, a line that goes here that like you see this edge as if like something was doing the, the coastline and then it, it uh, continued along this faint line. Kind of lose it there, but you see a faint indication of a line there that's continues there. Uh, and I think that's artificial, not natural. And then this path is just like kind of purposeless. Um, I mean, it may be a modern foot trail or something, but uh, this clean curve here. So, and then this straight 
bit of coast here, possibly looking a little cartoonish, like nice curve and then straight and then do it. And even like an angular thing here, maybe like weird angular abrupt thing going on there. But th this line here, it continues across here, you can see in an older photo, and then it continues as the coastline of another part of the river. So it's like uh, whatever's doing the coastline is doing the, uh, can go on land as well. Obviously, uh, here's a short little linear thing. It's this is awkward little um, details. There's a lot of paths and lines, although some of it's certainly foot trails, but uh, yeah, cool stuff going on in this area. California showed you this one before, just the idea that maybe these are not just modern continuous dredging, but actual cartoonish, strange, weird terraforming business. Uh, if you see what I mean? Along this edge and along this edge. So, could be. This is a more subjective one, it's somewhere in Brazil. It's a phony streak, is what I'm saying. Um, so we'll take a look in the area and see if we can't find any stronger examples. But just subjectively, it's looking a little cartoonish. Maybe even zoom out a little bit to get a bird's eye view of it. <clears throat> but yeah, some of these strike me as like embellishment or artistic, like little goofy brush strokes. Um, and then there's some, there's plenty of stuff where the streaks look uh, natural or even cartoonish, but you'll see like angular weirdness nearby. Like even here, we may be seeing, if you look closely, like some angular stuff, uh, if not in this area, certainly along other rivers. But uh, this spot in Russia, what do we have? We have this line, which is a f almost perfectly straight edge, probably perfectly straight. And, uh, and then it continues here. You see it right there, uh, continuing. And then see some type of very short, little wide, kind of wide relative to its length, uh, this channel here. So this could be a continuation of this path, slightly different orientation, but just evidence that there's some type of weird cutting or um, re retracing going on here. So it's like something's tracing paths over itself and maybe not just the natural river. Even like here, seeing another one, natural streak, maybe, but it's kind of like a faint straight line there, fine and thin. So for consideration, what else? This one more of a subjective uh, point I want to make, just, just the subjective look of it. And uh, I'll take you to this area. Russia in general, just the whole um, northern half of the country basically uh, is... Uh, and a lot of Alaska and Canada as well is kind of kind of looks like this. Certainly, geology and weather stuff is responsible for some of the look, if not most of it. But some of these angular turns and uh, these awkward derpy paths are just a little weird looking to my eye. Again, this is not a super solid example. It's just my opinion. But we will see in areas like this in Russia, like. Uh, just a lot of um, very faint paths, which like change directions angularly and uh, so just some artificial angles and stuff in the area that are just kind of in the middle of nowhere, it seems. So uh, we'll check out some of that. Kazakhstan, another one that I would generally assume was modern conventional activity, but uh, considering here that this is a um, actually part of the weirdness. See, it's natural and f kind of flowy up to this point and then er, straight and then, oh, I'll be natural again. Give me some 
uh, meandering patterns and then it's straight here so like this this corner almost looks natural like just for this little bit and then it's uh, artificial again or at least angular and then uh, and then here uh, having trouble deciding whether I think this is artificial or or natural so it's like halfway in between maybe and uh, probably more natural looking at, along this path but I'm throwing the idea out there that maybe this this the whole path is uh, part of the same weirdness deal <clears throat> uh, just down the way in Kazakhstan we have these um, this is something I haven't talked about yet but feature shadowing or feature echo like when you see one feature and then another feature following it nearby or mimicking it so like you'll have a river and then you'll have a channel next to the river like following the river uh, trajectory and uh, so um, that may be like part of this weird algorithm that's being used to generate these patterns just like one of its weird uh, like kind of like its personality so to speak but we have this uh, angular thing I think this is a body of water nearby so that this, we could consider this like a, a river or almost or a f former river but it's cartoonishly angular I would say even though it's angular or organic along these straight paths so a straight path with some organicness and then angles into this and then it's as if this is like a a uh, a echo of that or a shadow or a um, what you call it uh, I don't know maybe even like a an alert or a just to let you know type thing like this this is to bring your attention to this and maybe even here like this faint line almost similar something like that or just derpy random patterns which produce uh, or riff on on duplic duplicate trajectories <clears throat> if that made any sense whatsoever showed you this one before Lake Superior this stretch of uh, river or the kind of the edge of the, the lake um, uh, looking slightly goofy there and I've explained this one several times so I'll kind of skip the, the explanation there and I'm just noticing this just uh, uh, off the cuff here this potentially goofy curve there maybe of a similar explanation and then also these parallel lines these fine parallel lines if you, you can see those those could be related maybe not sorry about that um, let me get my spot again. Sorry, I lost my spot. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Here, uh, just looking, possibly some angular patches. But it's really tough to say definitively because of all the modern stuff in the in the area. But just considering the idea that this is artificial weirdness, and according to the Wikipedia, this is a natural feature. This thing. So, whatevers. Uh, and then here in Uruguay, a uh, pretty similar thing. Uh, I want to get rid of the text, but it's an image. So, uh, this fairly straight, fine line here, and then this as well. Uh, and possibly, like, see that fine indication of a line there. And Here's another spot along the same river. Maybe even zoom out a little more. Uh, see this fairly straight line here, fairly straight edge, and then another one here. It's kind of faint. You gotta focus, but I mean, there could be natural uh, uh, river meanders and loops, former river, former river path. As I stutter, but uh, we also see like these uh, chunkity, uh, these parallel things here, 
it's pretty subtle and faint and hard to make out in this image, like kind of small. But uh, if you pause, you might be able to see uh, or just search my place marks for any of these phrases in Google Earth Pro and you'll be able to look at this exact area yourself. Um, but see like these faint indications of like angular patchiness that may not be uh, modern or conventional efforts. So I think it's like the whole area is worked over and then these are uh, indications of working over as well these par straight parallel lines so I think like right here or here and here we do see that uh, parallel chunky thing fairly clearly so um, that needs to be considered San Francisco Bay showed this these couple of images several times um, I just want to touch on the point that um, these straight bits here, maybe some of the, uh, the same type of deal, like a natural river, which, oh, no, I'm going to be straight for a while and make some angular turns. So there's that going on, uh, just kind of a, an average between angular and organic and some of these river patterns. So yes, there is heavy dredging ongoing in the San Francisco Bay, but I think some of these rivers here are not... Um, affected by that, but they're still somewhat cartoonish. See like even these parallel lines here, or straight lines, that could be, well, looks like they might curve there, they might curve, so these may be natural, but uh, considering that they're not, and uh, anything else in this image? straight-ish for a while. Uh, straight channels, obviously. Uh, just seeming like a little too many channels for it to be practical. For drainage, you might, or um, like tidal equals, equalization of water level or something like that, you, you may want to just dig as many lines as possible to increase the amount of water that accesses the land or something like that, but I'm going with like, see how many different edges or coasts, coastlines to this uh, little island we have. So there's like this outer edge, then, then this path here, then this one here, this internal channel, then this internal channel here, then this internal channel here. So uh, with the uh, tick marks here, if you notice that, possibly. Uh, maybe even faint parallel lines there. That's not a good enough resolution. But these, yeah, these channels and rivers I'm seeing are maybe the artificial weirdness. Like these multiple channels here. Like why do we why do we need two channels from here to here and then just one channel here? That's why and, and one channel here. So I'm just saying it's it's uh, wonky weirdness by design. It's nonsensical by design, I think. And it's multiple here, 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 and then little kind of tick marky little river bits. So goofiness, obviously same deal on this guy. Potential modern dredging and or re um, construction reconstruction of the coastline. It's possible, certainly. That's why uh, a look back in history is necessary in the historical photos, at least as far back as we can. Um, just the channel going through the middle is a little weird to me. Here's the size of a boat for a scale, a couple boats for scale and uh, the uh, oddly straight and regular little offshoots and is what it is whatever it is i'm going to use that as like a catchphrase is what it is whatever it is from now on so i'm going to say that a bunch here's uh in guinea which is an african country 
there's this angular path here, weird, potentially modern activity, maybe people off to the side here, but uh, just the idea of the abrupt corner or the abrupt meetup of the river with the offshoot of the river. And so there's this, which is looking kind of sharp. I've seen other examples of it in quite a few places. This is what I would expect a more natural meetup to look like. It's kind of haphazard and organic and like that. Um, and I'm wondering, I'm seeing stuff out of the corner of my eye, like possible like uh, indications of like patchy chunking or artificial working over, maybe even here. Here, maybe. It's tough to say. Sometimes I feel like I'm grasping at straws with the, the pattern, the patterns in the, the faint patterns. But uh, it, it may be some angular stuff going on. Maybe not. But this main point I wanted to make in this image is this, this corner. OK, Columbia. What's in Columbia? So we have these triangular wedgy or almost like a like teeth. Not really, but like a, just triangular. Uh, little cleared areas looking slightly awkward. Maybe even this here as well. Whatever's going on there. And then these, like, it's hard to make out, but these angular um, ends to like streaks or maneuvers or something. They're kind of wide. Uh, and then we see finer indications as well, like fine lines across, like. Here, if you look carefully, you see fine kind of parallel lines uh, kind of covering the area, really. And I mean, maybe even this line here. Uh, so we'll look at this in Google Earth. Argentina, this one a little more subjective, just the this outline here is a little strange and goofy somewhat cartoonish. And we see multiple similar things. This is kind of small small lakes or little lakelets with a odd uh, border. Uh, and I'm the first to admit that's not a very strong example, but it's just like I may be cherry picking, you know, because these uh, these ones look a little more natural or easy to explain. Um, even these like little channels here, like these, sometimes I wonder if those are artificial additions or details. Uh, so this could be a cartoonish border there. Australia. So the idea of the clean swept coast, I'm still considering the, uh, the bzzz, like along a, a stretch. And obviously white beach sand is going to make it, uh, the detail pop more in the image just from a, a graphics standpoint. Uh, so, uh, but these fairly clean, uh, Almost, it almost gives the coast like a serrated look. It's like serrated with little bays. So it's like a bigger one, and then a slightly smaller one, and then these little mini ones, and this one as well, perhaps, um, just considering it. And then Australia has quite a few of these cartoonish looking river systems. Uh, again, just a subjective feel to it, but we'll see some possible strange accompanying um, features in the area. Another one in Australia, uh, all along the, the north half of Australia, you see a lot of this type of stuff. Um, so what do we see in this image? Some abrupt ends there, not necessarily artificial. In some spots, these tick marks here, or the, uh, the I guess it would be the, the edge of a uh, streak or river, former river path, um, 
in some spots they just start to look too parallel and regular. So we'll take a look at that. Um, some angular stuff. Um, I don't know if I have anything in particular in this image that's like a a smoking gun or a super solid example. Just the subjective cartoonishness of it and then whatever place marks I have in Google Earth in the area. Just browsing real quick. Okay, so next image. Another one in Australia near the Brisbane airport. Same type of thinking here that maybe this uh, these artificial channels are actually not modern conventional activity. Maybe they're weirdness. Maybe even this river as well. So um, maybe even this guy I just noticed. Possibly. It's hard to say. Uh, this one looking fairly natural, but these also these other ones also look kind of similar, but then like er, straight for a while and then curved again. Could be. I mean, there's plenty. There's certainly plenty of modern activity, so I don't think we'll get a definitive answer here. There's also a an awkward um, choke to the river here, like from wide to thin. So that that could be modern stuff or. But it, it looks natural at the mouth, and then by about this point here, we have to say artificial. So it could be 100% artificial and modern conventional stuff. Um, just for consideration, Mozambique. Uh, angular and lines. So we have this line continuing faintly. You see, if you see this faint line across, and then also faint other lines across. Uh, this direction as well, uh, possible continuation of this line, mm, not super well defined. Uh, here, if you look like in this area here, you almost see like these narrow chunk marks or um, maneuvers, uh, and then a line across here perhaps, and I saw one more. Oh, okay, so like this. Like here and here, if you see these, like there and there, it's kind of subtle, but looks like this one might continue there. Uh, so just kind of hammering on this possibility that uh, the whole river systems, river system here and many or most on Earth are contrived by some strange means. Uh, anything else I want to mention? Just the angle here, er, 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 kind of herky-jerky. And I think that's it for now for this image. Mozambique still same area. And here we see more blatant uh, examples, uh, better resolution here of these uh, angular, patchy, goofy uh, tree line. Or, uh, and we even see faint indications of it in uh, the more heavily vegetated area and some fine little indications of it there. So another thing with these river systems is the tree line surrounding them seems to uh, have some artificial uh, sculpting to it as well. And we will consider that as we surf Google Earth later. But yeah, hopefully you see this angular, patchy strangeness. And what else? Here's another one, same area. Uh, I like this example. Um, let me zoom out even a little bit. So, so there's this li uh, line, not perfectly straight, but there. And then this one here. Sorry, my hand is shaking, but it's that line there. Uh, so like these two bounds to it here, it's like a wedge, and then these arcs. So I'm saying this is resembling like the sweep of an arc, like a windshield wiper sweep. And you see maybe like an outer circle of it there, and the beginning of it, of it over here. So it's a good look at it without the text. Just these... Uh, I don't know whether these are former river path edges, like 
river meanders or river loops. Presumably that's what they're meant to look like or what we're meant to think it might be. And then we also maybe have these angular things going on here, like uh, like just, just like this, the same thing, but also appearing here. So when you consider those two possibilities together, that there's like angular weirdness there, and there's this whole like, windshield wiper sweep looking thing hopefully i explained that hopefully you can see what i'm talking about here this like wedge here with the circle circular arcs just awkwardly and then kind of nothing over here where we should expect it to continue um, or maybe even continuing like that it's difficult to say for certain uh so uh, one point I should address, um, so do I think this is an actual sweep of some type of tool or um, uh, construction method or, uh, mm, I can't think of the word, but, um, so do I think this is an actual sweep maneuver by something? Not necessarily, because if we are dealing with something like really, really high tech, then um, that tech can make any pattern. So they could just make something which looks like a, a, a windshield wiper sweep, but which is just imposed um, by some other means. So it's not an actual windshield wiper sweep maneuver, but it's like a, just an imposed pattern, which uh, is one of many patterns, like one of many one of many patterns which is made to look like something it's not, if that makes any sense. Of course, the angularness. Yeah, we should probably move on for time's sake. It's, I think we're still in Mozambique here, yeah. And here we see the angular abrupt tree line. A very clean, awkward curve there, which we'll see in Google, Google Earth. These awkwardly straight edges and angular edges kind of. Um, kind of patchy angular look to it but basically the whole area even this tree line over here and certainly this one and with these potentially angular little patchy tick mark type look things there uh, so this is a pretty strong example i think and certainly like some type of path here uh, which I think we'll get a better look at in Google Earth. So this area is pretty good. Let's move to Senegal and check out this image. So this is just another one where uh, subjectively cartoonish and then looking natural and then odd proportions, but I can forgive that. And then it just turns straight for a bit. Again, that could just be natural chance that that occurred. Could still be natural. Uh, and then uh, more natural curves or organic curves again. Still slightly goofy proportions, per potentially some weird angles. And water level change and tidal changes and stuff, they do create these kind of bulges along these riverbanks sometimes. Uh, it's just given some of the other more fake looking bulbous uh, bulges that we've seen. I wonder uh, if this whole river is cartoonish. These, I mean, from here to here, I wouldn't say it's particularly cartoonish. It's just the straight path here. And then the, this, especially like this almost right angle turn here on this river on the right side over here. Uh, and then this, just the general look of it, the angular turns and weirdness slightly suspicious to me so we'll take a look here russia uh, these fine lines here which may not be former river edges and which may not be modern dredging so just consider this is like that california example kind of so let me bear with me while i go find this real quick uh, it's near the San Francisco Bay, and it has that look to it. Um, 
crap, I'm not finding it. <laughs> here we go. This is the image. So th just these lines here like this, just considering that this is not modern dredging stuff, like modern maintenance and industrial stuff. So let me go back to that. Uh, what was it? Somalia? or But same type of thing, Senegal. Yes, yeah, Senegal. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was on this Russia example. But yeah, so this looking like that California, kind of just an artificial edge, just chilling. And then, of course, this thin, fine channel here. And then yet another thin, fine line back here, which may be a natural uh, former river edge. But and it just looks like almost cartoonishly precise and clean to my eye, especially right here. Yeah, definitely right there. Looking a little weird. Okay, Andaman Islands. Uh, just this angle here. And these awkward curves. I think that's the only point I really want to make on this. Uh, image, this possibly awkward little curve and nice perfect curve here and here. Um, so we see the con this tick mark here and this here. It's like this continues here a bit and then this maneuver continues here a bit, seemingly. So it's like it, it keeps going and just cuts into what's already there and then this just keeps going a little bit like overshoots, if that makes sense. And then this little inlet here is just a little cartoonish looking, just subjectively, again, uh, some angular stuff here, slightly awkward, maybe even here. And then what am I talking about over here? I think I was, there, there may be some like parallel lines in the area, faint ones, but we'll see. Um, maybe right there. Uh, there, maybe even there. A lot of times you'll see like a coastline continue um, across the river. Not not particularly easy to make out there, or might not be what's going on there. But in some places you see it pretty um, well defined. It's possible fine line there. Again, only visible if you're in full screen and full resolution, 1080p. Uh, let's move on. West coast of India. We have these angular rivers, more of the same basically. And the old grid look, which only is uh, visible in the 2003 photo. It's kind of overgrown since. So it could be modern activity that was abandoned. It's possible. Uh, could be terraforming remnants from this weirdness. And then just the rivers themselves, uh, the straight for a bit, natural for a bit thing, or the the skip or the stall type of thing, like natural, and then stalling on the straightness, and even the uh, kind of natural waves or uh, natural bends along a straight path, which is slightly awkward, and then just this angular turn there. Uh, angle, angles, uh, not a lot I can say here, which I haven't already said. Uh, yeah, so slightly cartoonish looking, or quite cartoonish looking. Papua, quite a bit going on here. Uh, this river system, I think this is a river here and here, and then uh, maybe here as well, our former river path. And then I just wanted to point out this. If if you zoom in in Google Earth, it's fairly well defined. It's going to look blurry here, but the edges of this path, some kind of path here, and then that comprises the tree line here. And then possibly continuing like this. Or this is something else, but uh, just kind of uh, odd patterns or odd uh, 
trajectory or path kind of interrupting what's going on there. It might be modern stuff, conventional stuff, I don't know. Maybe parallel line or straight line there. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. South Carolina, not a super strong example, but um, this uh, patch of river with uh, this kind of straight thing here going on. This just is like an awkward junction here to me, like just this whole thing as a whole. It's uh, kind of straight here and then fairly natural looking river loop there. And then uh, this and this, it's like a skip or an offset. So like from here to there, it's like the river uh, jumped. So it's like the natural river with its width from like there to there. And then almost as if it jumped uh, discontinuously to there. Like, so like this little angle there and this little angle there would be uh, an indication of that. Potentially, potentially. And there's some trees obscuring the area, so it may just be the vegetation making um, an interesting pattern from above. But uh, it's possible that that's what's going on, like an artificial derp or glitch. I think glitch is the right word I'm looking for. Okay, uh, possibly. And then also in South Carolina, we have this uh, type of phenomenon. Obviously, this is artificial. Just the explanation for it is the, uh, the part in question. And multiple different looks. Like this kind of looks slightly different stylistically. That might be modern. Like here, that might be modern. Uh, it's very difficult to say for certain without, like, I guess asking the locals or go, doing some more heavy-duty research. But um, this is looking very similar to something in Florida, the White Oak Conservation Area. This is, uh, according to Wikipedia and uh, other articles, this is abandoned rice paddies, as I've mentioned before. Just the look of it is looking very similar to this stylistically and so a b and just the, the tick marks and the weirdness the parallel lines the angles uh i mean this could certainly have been rice patties as well i don't know uh it's just the, the widespreadness of it the scale uh as we'll see in google earth and then just spidey senses Sorry about these pop-ups. Okay. Uh, so, oh, this is also in South Carolina. These, uh, this channel here, I probably should have included this in Out of Place Channels episode, but it's like the remains of an old channel, but it's like on land basically here. And and then with these rivers in between, natural rivers in between. So this is like kind of kind of a striking and awkward example. And then also the uh, cartoonish river, like almost straight for a bit. Uh, not great. Uh, we're pretty zoomed out here, so we can't really see any details. But uh, and then also the idea that the uh, intercoastal waterway is manufactured by this weirdness as well or by some alternative explanation other than the army corps of engineers doing a massive project um, that's so, certainly still possible i think they just like either uh either they made the whole thing and it's um it's part of the weird protocol somehow or they just um the army corps of engineers just uh, did a little uh, touch up on the uh, banks of this and then that was passed off as the building of it or uh, something like that. I don't know. There's uh, a lot of possibilities. Uh, this straight line, that could be anything really. Just noticing that. Forgive me. Not me. 
Yeah, no, it's really but this channel or the straight line is slightly weird to me. My opinion. This is another subjective one. No solid concrete uh, anomalies here, but just the look of this from about there to there is like very cartoonish to me. Uh, possible like sharp angles there, just slightly awkward. And anything else? Mm, nothing really striking me, but we will look at that in Google Earth and try and figure it out. Uh, nearby, down the coast in Florida. So this path is recent, which should be considered, and then possible continuation of it there, we'll see. But uh, this is, in the historical photos, it looks like it turns up recent. This one, it's harder to tell if it's recent or not. Um, and then we also have like all, all kinds of uh, faint parallel lines or uh, tick marks or um, tooling marks, although that may not be the right word. But just the whole area is uh, kind of adorned with these ang um, angular, maybe, but I'm more looking for little, little dashes of uh, parallel lines activity. Uh, tick, 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 almost. Uh, maybe like right there. Gotta look closely, but. It could be maybe even like along there, kind of serrated look to it. Could just be the vegetation, probably is. Uh, but we will try and figure out what's going on here. I think I have some additional place marks in the area. So we will check that out. Rio Mamanguape, Brazil. Older photo. I put the 1969 photo just to show that it's been the same since at least 1969. So it hasn't changed course in over the last 50 years or so. Uh, I guess 60 years now. Um, or 50, I can't count. <laughs> um, I think it's 50. Uh, so it's natural and then it's straight for a while and then, no, oh, no, I'll be natural. No, I'll be straight again. So it's uh, just that same deal of stalling on straightness after a, a length of naturalness or uh, getting stuck on a trajectory or like a record skip kind of or just a strategic derp as a way of outing the author or any number of things and one more image of that same uh, stretch of river from a different angle I think it's completely upside down angle uh, but yeah, so uh, from another angle, it's um, what I want to point out is this right here. This is like collinear with this, which is slightly odd. So we'll see there. Um, so it's uh, continuing, or it's collinear at least. And in the older 1969 photo, like right about here, we'll see. It's kind of faint. You can kind of still see it, but you see like a continuation, bleh, continuation of it there as well. So there's this feature, which almost looks continuous or along the same line as this, and then here and here and here and here. So it's like something was doing that, almost perhaps, or utilizing the same linear path or trajectory for some reason, and one conventional explanation I thought of was it could be like sight lining or prospecting or like plumb lining like trying to get a good uh, like they wanted to make a straight feature so they cut out some cleared area back here and so they could get a straight line going for uh, surveying purposes or whatever that's possible I and these may not even be associated with this over here it's just, there appears to be a somewhat start and stop uh, straight line going here. Maybe I'm uh, 
trying to see patterns where there are none, but it looks, and I don't even, I don't even know what that would indicate if it's a straight line here, just the weirdness of some kind. Okay, next area, Mauritania. So not to mention all these stone circles, of course, a lot of modern activity. So, uh, but uh, this is a fairly common thing. We'll see a streak along a, a coast or a riverbank, which has like a, a linear bit, like abruptly interrupting the uh, streak sometimes. And here it seems impossible other parallel lines in that direction, fairly parallel. Could be modern, but uh, just considering the idea that this is like a, a hiccup from the, uh, like a del deliberate hiccup weird thing from the, uh, the terraforming thing, the tooling of Earth, whatever. Yeah, okay. Alaska. I'm glad I spent some time here because uh, I only found this in the last either today or yesterday, but uh, it's basically the idea is all or most of Alaska bears signs of this pretty faint and subtle signs, I'll say, but some signs nonetheless of awkward terraforming, similar to what we've been seeing. So like, uh, I don't have a place marked, I think, but check out this one like this or maybe maybe continuing here it's hard to tell but like like this this uh like this line there and i think an, another one here which is going like this you see the edges of some kind of path and continuing there like continuing as a river almost so um and it, i would say it's much too large scale to be just modern logging or um, uh, what do you call it lumberjack stuff or any kind of mining or landscaping or uh, any any type of industrial or exploratory or modern activity it's I would say it's too wide scale it's basically the whole uh, untouched area which um, apparently is not untouched so we even see like maybe something there and something here like this if you see that uh, and I haven't even mentioned the main thing I want to mention in, in this image which is um, if you look uh, roughly from there to there uh, you see kind of angular patchy chunks uh, similar to what we've seen elsewhere. So, uh, and then a river here, it's, so the rivered areas and the, the land surrounding them uh, are uh, accompanied by this patchy angular stuff and tons of lines, possibly some little faint tick marks there. And, uh, but yeah, if you get a good look at this on Google Earth Pro, you can kind of see some fairly blatant, patchy, angular things going on there. So these are remnants, I would say, of this awkward terraforming project. Derpy derpy. Derpy lines, derpy makeover of Earth. So Alaska, we will take a look at another thing in Alaska. This one you got to be kind of cautious about jumping to conclusions because uh, there are like pipelines and uh, power lines and water lines, um, maybe even internet cables and stuff um, pretty much across the planet, obviously. So we have to be careful just calling any straight line um, part of this weirdness because it could certainly be modern stuff, but I gave a good look to some of these lines, these faint, uh, very long, very straight, well, they're perfectly straight, so uh, these long, perfectly straight lines. I gave a good look to them, and I couldn't find anything that, which made me to 
which led me to believe that they're modern or conventional work. Like they just don't look like there's anything going on right here other than just like a groove. Um, could be a buried pipe, that's possible as well. So, but then they seem to be kind of unperturbed by any obstacles like rivers, which leads me to believe that they may have been imposed from above, um, possibly following the uh, previous terraforming maneuvers. And then also we have what may be like little uh, notches or uh, almost too regular, these chunks, like uh, awkwardly regular chunks there, um, or gouges. And that could certainly be natural still, uh, just uh, erosion or whatever, uh, just given the uh, these patchy looks to it and these uh, fine or faint grooves and lines and wondering if uh, this is that same type of deal. So there's quite a bit in Alaska to look at. Uh, I have a lot of place marks there or a lot of new ones. Uh, Louisiana. I know I mentioned this air, this whole Louisiana coast area, the Mississippi River Delta. I talked a lot about that and uh, uh, touched on the oil and natural gas activity in the area. And obviously, there's tons of that going on. Uh, I just want to say, like the uh, the landscape itself, like the allegedly natural rivers, they even look cartoonish as well like i don't know if this would make sense as a path for a dredge maybe this is like a dredge just traced a an awkward river path for some reason um this could be modern dredging uh but if it's a natural river or if that's what it's considered to be um in the mainstream then it's looking a little cartoonish and uh, awkward to me. Uh, so, and then these little, actually, mm, this, I have a harder time saying is not just oil and natural gas, because it may be, but just the alternating skippiness of it, like the step or a square wave kind of pattern doesn't seem entirely practical but then I guess I could think of some explanations but uh, this this river may be uh, an indication of uh, cartoonishness and of artificiality of the whole area um, like this image is a pretty good one so there's this interior channel Along, along the inside of this uh, river here. This is water here. So there's uh, like a river or a um, man-made channel, whichever. And then here we have this nice channel here, which could also be man-made for conventional purposes. And then nice little fairly natural bend there. And then stuff like this is what bugs me. Like this, this interior uh, aspect to it there, um, it looks a little cartoonish and awkward to me. Um, and just the multiple... Uh, could be former river path, certainly, I guess. Former river's edge there. Uh, but then, like, this as well. Like this... Even that, although it's supposed to look natural, uh, it kind of looks derpy and artificial, just a weird, weird little um, zigzaggy pattern there. And then all these parallel grooves, which could certainly be um, a modern conventional activity, oil and natural gas activity or whatever. But since this parallel lines uh, pattern is so ubiquitous in the area, I would... Um, I would throw out there that the whole land mass of the Mississippi River Delta may be somewhat unnatural to begin with or contrived by this artificial terraforming weirdness. 
Um, so here we see more of it. I just don't know that this is all um, uh, modern conventional stuff. And the river, like this could be potentially like the natural turn straight type of phenomenon or uh, windy turns straight for a while, then windy again maybe. Um, and I think this is my last couple images for this video. So lucky you. Um, so this was in a new earth video. I'm not 100% on this one, but uh, the idea is there's this, uh, this map here with uh, ind indications of a like star fort city as they're being called. Like, star fort there and whatever like the the bastions or the the walls along the edge of it and then apparently if you look at it in google earth it's just streaks now it's just um, former river loops so the idea here would be that uh, potentially these um, river loops are uh, just mimicry of river meanders or river loops uh, so the idea is that this was basically a structure here and then it was completely um, blitzed over or obliterated or obscured by whatever placed these fake river loops here as a disguise or to hide the existence of, uh, of the previous structure or civilization so again along the lines of the age of empires idea or the civilization conquest game type um explanation for earth like if like if you've seen the show westworld the idea of the the guests the rich people who pay to come to westworld and kind of uh, uh play or um romp or uh just do whatever and uh, play games. So I wonder if like certain higher level entities or beings come to Earth uh, like as a a fun little um, vacation <laughs> to be like an emperor for a few hundred years or something like that. You know what I mean? Or like a, a lifetime as an emperor and then they just like jack each other and then when, when they conquer each other they uh, they plop land on top of uh, these um, uh, sorry brain fart for a second so they they just plop some fake terraforming over the previous um, civilization when they conquered them in battle or whatever in their little war games it is possible I don't know and also, I'm not 100% sold on this example either because uh, so Sylvie um, superimposed these. Uh, so they look fairly similar. However, if you look at the, uh, the accompanying details here, these aren't there anymore. And like there used to be land here and this is just a big wide area of water. So either this area was heavily altered as well or this is the wrong location. So it's possible that it is not the same location. Um, I guess you could go scrounge around and try and find the New Earth video where she has this example. Or, um, or if you speak Russian or whatever. Uh, this, is, this is either Russia or Ukraine, I can't remember. But if you can translate some of this, maybe you could figure out where this is exactly. Uh, if it's here then uh, like if I found the right spot then um, then yeah it's like a fake river system plopped on top of former uh, artificial structures or civilization or just uh, walls and buildings but since I couldn't find um, these features I couldn't really locate it I don't I'm not 100% certain that it's the same place, so I can't, uh, I'm not accusing Sylvie of being wrong, I'm just saying I can't verify it for myself, so uh, not just yet anyways, so uh, 
if you're able, if you're able to verify that, um, maybe mention it in the comments or something. And uh, oh, and the other thing I wanted to say here was that there's quite a few river loops that look like this in the area, so it would be easy to accidentally reference the wrong one. I think so. This this may not be an actual good example if if it's not the same site but if it is the same site then uh, these uh, river loops here are cartoonish and manufactured and artificial and made to look natural so it's mimicry of a natural river which is plopped on top of civilization it could be so that's possible and I think these are my last images for this video so I will wrap it up for you and Unfortunately, there's probably going to be a lot more parts to this, like uh, part one, part two, part three, part four of Cartoonish Rivers, um, maybe even part ten, because <laughs> uh, I, I do feel like I need to um, qualify some of the statements I've made uh, with some better examples, or some um, good examples, or at least a lot of examples to, uh, to build the case a little better. So we're not just going off subjective impression. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you join me for some of those or all of them if you have the time. Um, or just click around and check out a few minutes of some of the upcoming videos and you'll see some strange cartoonish rivers and associated lines and angles and weird features of weird stuff. Okay, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.